Hi, welcome. Jeff Frick here in the Palo Alto offices of Silicon Angles The Cube. We're here for a Cube conversation with David Floyer, CTO and co-founder of Wikibon. Uh, David has been following um, data centers and infrastructure for quite some time. He's really excited about some of the impacts that Flash is having and some new technologies to really uh, change the change the game, if you will, in the data center. And, and clearly there's some big trends happening with the hyperscale companies really driving ahead uh, for the enterprise. So we've had some big announcements, David, in the last uh, week or so. And you've got some new uh, research out that we want to talk about. So why don't we, we jump in, what's happening uh, in the flash world that's exciting? Well, at uh, Pacona uh, 2014, the conference, uh, there was the announcement of the NVM non-volatile memory extensions uh, to MySQL. Uh, and that's a pretty big deal because for the first time, uh, the ability to do some of the fancy things with Flash, making applications Flash aware, has gone from the uh, universities and the people who are the uh, bleeding edge and uh, to a standard, NVM extensions uh, for all of the MySQL um, uh, distributions, both for Oracle, for MariaDB, and for Pocona. All of them now have this uh, NVM extensions. So let's jump in a little bit. What does that mean exactly, the NVM extension, and why is that important? So there, there are two major components of the NVM extensions. The, the one that's been around for some time, certainly from a from a uh, testing point of view, which is atomic writes. Um, so when you're writing databases, uh, if you are using a, a standard uh, MySQL, you're going to write twice. You're going to do what's called double writes. And that allows things to be uh, firmly guaranteed that they will have been written uh, and that you can recover from them fundamentally. So uh, what atomic writes do is they allow you, instead of having to write twice, to write once. Um, you, you, uh, you, by doing so, you can effectively reduce the number of writes by, by, by 50%, and you get about a 70% throughput advantage from those. So it's a pretty, pretty big pretty impact, pretty big impact. The second thing that's just been added, which is totally new, is the uh, compression, NVM compression. Now, in MySQL, there's been a compression around for a long time, um, but uh, it's a big overhead. It's about, uh, uh, you, if you've got, a, can take 100 transactions per second, it'll go down to 50. The overhead is really very significant indeed. So people have often not used that. Uh, but uh, if you now can use it at pretty well no overhead, uh, it, it's zero overhead for using the compression. And in addition to that, um, it's got a, it uses flash sensibly. It uses, it, it, it's treating it as memory in one aspect, it's writing to it very fast. But with the other way, it is uh, knowing that it is flash, it is optimizing the way that it writes to that flash. Um, so you get, by writing only half the number uh, to compression, you're going to double the life of the uh, flash, and that's a big thing for flash. And by writing sensibly, you've got a, another doubling as well. So it's four times as efficient on the flash drive itself, uh, on the flash PCIe card itself, uh, by using the compression. That, those are two big impacts of it. And it's, it's gone from being just a drive, uh, being uh, as a thumb drive, for example, in your PC, or a disk drive just replaced with, a, um, an, uh, with an SSD with flash. It's gone from that now to being something that contributes to the throughput through the system very significantly indeed. Right, and so this is part of the kind of flash aware applications that people are talking about where you you use Flash not just a way to write faster storage, but actually an opportunity to change the way you design your database, change the way you design your application to really take advantage of the technology that's so much better than, than spinning rusty disks, uh, as everybody likes to say. <laughs> Absolutely, <laughs> and, 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 and better than just copying the protocol of those spinning rusty disks, which were 
you know, 50 years old and pretty, pretty slow and pretty inefficient. So right. yes, making it such that you can uh, uh, use direct PCIe bus uh, APIs and, uh, and extensions to reduce that overhead as much as possible and uh, use it to uh, extend the life of the uh, of the of the flash itself. A pretty big deal. So, in, in, in fact, if you uh, if you install the extensions, the NVM extensions, you get a ten percent because it's done some work behind the scenes just to improve things as they were. So you get about a ten percent extension. And I think there's a chart there which yeah. we can. Yeah, Dave has done some some work on this. So as always, uh, you know everything that that the Wikibon group does. Dave, Jeff Kelly, Stu Miniman is available online at wikibon.org. It's open source research. We encourage you to go on there and search. But uh, we have grabbed. I think we've pulled up now uh, the chart from Dave's article, which is entitled, just in case you're watching at home, MySQL re uh, receives over three x boost in performance from PCIe Flash. So. Dave, why don't you go ahead and take us through the chart? Yes. So the base of this is somebody who's running an application which has compression working uh, and it's using double writes. It's making sure that everything is, meets the, uh, um, the atomic uh, requirements of a true database. So that's the base, which is 100. Now, step one is that you can put in these NVM extensions. And as I said, uh, just by using Flash with these, you'll get some 10% improvement. They've just been speeded up and, and, and tidied up from 50 years of garbage. Uh, step two is to add the atomic rights. And that goes from 110% uh, to 170% of the base of 100. So and now we are uh, uh, allowing 70% uh, more throughput through the system. Step three is we're running compression and the overhead of compression is about 50%. So we can double the throughput now uh, and go from 170 to 340 uh, uh, percent improvement. So by putting these NVM extensions in, they're open source, uh, by using PCIe card, you can't use these, ex these uh, extensions on uh, SSDs because that's still using the old protocol. But by running it on a, on a flash card that will use the protocol, for example, from Fusion I.O., will be able to use this protocol, you can now get three times the throughput of, of the application that it had before. Wow, that's pretty significant. So uh, who are the people that are going to benefit the most from this? Well, the, the people that are going to benefit the most are people with large SQL uh, uh, applications. They're often the cloud providers. Uh, they don't, haven't had the resources, and they don't want the overheads uh, of investing in very large um, Oracle or uh, SQL Server or DB2 type of databases. So they've been, they've been using MySQL. It's become the de facto standard for open source, uh, de facto de uh, uh, standard for large scale web-based uh, databases. Um, so it's been used very, very extensively. There's obviously also a lot of other databases out there in the open world, the non-SQL databases, for example. But there's a lot of advantages of running SQL. It's, uh, it's, it's sound, it, it, it's less complex, much less complex for the developers than running no SQL. Um, so the speed to, to change, speed to get things up is, is faster with, my, with MySQL. So it's a sound database and um, it's, it's people who are running large scale applications that are really going to benefit from uh, these enhancements. Every time you, you have an investment in a database, especially in a fast growing area, you will need to re-architect it, you will need to shard it maybe, you'll need to do things to extend that database. If, if you can get um, uh, three, three times the throughput, you've essentially uh, in, enabled three times the life, basically, of that implementation. And that is a big, big deal, right, big, big right, deal. Right, and as you said, the 
this initial uh, instance is really around the My MySQL database mm -hmm. in that community because of the open source and the innovation. Sure, sure. Uh, but, you s but you said it will be coming in the not too distant future to some of the other uh, it, databases. It's going to be a, a business as normal way of doing things. Um, you know, it's going to be embedded in uh, Oracle. It, I mean, obviously it takes much longer to get into the, into the design and to the um, testing that they do in a much more uh, mission critical applications like that. But it will get there into my Oracle, it'll get into SQL Server, it'll get into DB2, it'll, be, it'll also get into the non-SQL uh, non databases as well. Uh, the key pair uh, um, uh, components are already have uh, parts of NVM extensions which will help them as well. So it'll pump, become ubiquitous over time. Uh, and Flash is still the number one NVM. There's a lot of talk about other things maybe coming in, but Flash is Flash is it for the moment. You know, maybe in five years' time we'll see something else, but Flash is going to be around for a long time, and it's driven by the uh, consumer use of it. You know, right. you and I sitting here without Flash, no, right, the old fashioned drives. disk drives. Right, we, right. we we have it. We have uh, flash only uh, types of PCs. And again, the, the other kind of interesting thing here is there's an benefits that can be recognized immediately, correct? Correct. Uh, by putting yes. this in just yeah. in terms of the speed. Yes. Yes. And then there's longer term benefits by people really re-architecting their applications and databases around this capability. The, I mean, that's, that's the most exciting thing of all. We've had such a built-in restriction on the number of database calls you can make in a transaction. That's been built into every application that's been built for the last 50 years, essentially. Uh, and this allows uh, 10 times the number of database calls per transaction to be put through. That's a huge difference, 10 times, 100 times a huge difference in how you design applications right. uh, and how, how you can make them usable by everybody. And, and all businesses are trying to go to reduce the number of, for example, in SAP, uh, they're trying to reduce the number of landscapes that they have in SAP because they want the same database to be supporting every division within an organization. They really couldn't get there before. So with techniques like this, they can put in one landscape for the whole of the division. And we were looking in detail about what that meant to those organizations. They could get rid of tens, tens of financial analysts in each of their divisions having to do manual work to reconcile uh, the financial books at the end of each uh, uh, month or end, end of each quarter. So major advantages in improving the productivity of organizations by reducing the number of databases. And then the other thing that does come up time and time again at some of these shows in talking about Flash is this concern about the flash longevity and, and lifespan and replacement and, and these types of things. And you're saying there's even this benefit here where by being optimized or right because it is flash, uh, you can take some of that um, a negativity away from flash, if you will. Uh, absolutely. Um, uh, the, the alternative way of, of using this is to take an application which is not got compression on it and to add compression on it. And by adding compression, you get half the number of writes, and therefore half, you've doubled the longevity. But in addition to that, because it's doing that uh, NVM compression in a smart way, using its knowledge of how the best way of using it, uh, using some, some pretty good techniques, you can again halve again the number of uh, the longevity of it, of that, uh, of that uh, flash. So you've got, f if you do that, you extend the life of the flash by a factor of four for free. Uh, you're not no overhead on it. Right. So it's uh, you know absolutely no brainer <laughs> right, right. of a decision right. to use this uh, as a way of speeding things up and as a way right. of uh, improving, uh, in just improving the application. Right. Yeah. All we're missing is Gordon Moore, right? We have better performance, <laughs> better performance, more longevity, no extra overhead, and uh, the continue of 
continued driving pace of innovation it's exciting. just keeps going. Yeah, it is yeah, exciting. Yeah, it's exciting. It's exciting to see it come to a stage where it's, it's really not just a drive, but now it can be using the characteristics of it as memory to really go towards uh, large-scale memory systems, which have this fantastic additional ability to be persistent right. instead of uh, losing it every right. time you uh, lose it, have a hiccup in right. the system. And then and, and latency too, right, which everyone is uh, very Absolutely. impatient as we walk around with our, our right. phones and we want the answer to every question in just a few milliseconds. Well, if, Dave, if not yesterday. If not yesterday. <laughs> well, thanks for stopping by and kind of breaking that down for us. Um, that's what we like to do. We like to, you know, we look at the news. We like to dig into a little bit uh, deeper. We get the smartest guys in the room. Sometimes they're our own, like David here, to to really drive down. Again, I want to point you to his um, post on this. Um, again, at wikibon.org, it's MySQL receives over 3x boost in performance from PCIe Flash. So take a look at the article. Feel free to contribute. Everything on wikibon.org is open source, as are all the CUBE interviews and CUBE conversations. So thanks for joining us, Dave. Thanks for stopping by and breaking it down for us. Uh, that's all for today from Palo Alto. We'll see you next time. Thanks again, Jeff Frick from SiliconANGLE's The Cube, signing off.